W welcome back to Broad League <laughs> Heroes. Of course, it's a Terran versus Terran. But, but we don't really... Oh my. Okay. Well, we don't really have time to talk too much about it. First, let's introduce in the top left. It is Jim Bean... Okay, scumbag, and, and then the scumbag Steve is on an attack move, gives away his SCV rush, by the way. Okay, oh. Um, Jim Bean giving us the history of scumbag Steve as scumbag Steve has a scumbag move. I'm not sure, I'm sure Jim Bean was two-finger typing his way to potential defeat here, as he really needed to get his point across. And that was apparently more important to him than realizing a bunch of SCVs were aggressively- Oh, he's on a move command! He lifts the command center. Scumbag Steve now has more workers in a, in a classic scumbag move. Now, I feel like Jim Bean had a little bit too much Jim Bean, and he brought this one on himself. But, he does have 455 minerals, so he could kind of just go and land again. Or, or, I don't know where the rest of the, uh, SCVs are going. So this is how it starts. And, uh, usually I'd take this time near the start as we, as we build up to, to thank our hard-working judges on Discord who sift through so much mediocrity to find truly the best of the worst. Wait a second, that's not his base. Thank you, Dracket, for judging this worthy. Um, unless... It's terrible, in which case, Dracket, why'd you screw this up for this for everyone? Meanwhile, um, okay, so nobody's mining. It's just uh, a worker strike here in every sense of the word. As both players have decided there will... Oh, well, this is happening. Um, the only buildings... Each, each player now has one command center and 12 SCVs, which is how you start the game. But... <laughs> Um, not usually how it ends. Uh, okay, so technically, um, ah, uh, well, the chat, it appears the chatting has, has slowed down here. Jim Bean has enough money either for one, another command center, or two to repair his SCVs. I don't know why Jim keeps landing his, his command center. Because the SC... Like, they're in vision. Oh, he's moving out of vision. Oh, scumbag Steve with the pro gamer strats. Like, uh-huh. Scumbag move, scumbag Steve. Um, not sure that's how that works, but... Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. It was a scumbag move. I get it. I get it. I get it. It was a scumbag move. Buy scumbags. It makes sense now. But Jim Bean, uh, applying his greatest weakness and his greatest strength, which is his silver, silver tongue, um, which he uses to drink Jim Bean. And if he can keep scumbag Steve busy as he sends his command center across, he might be able to eke out an advantage. So now the command... Well, this is about as literal as base trading gets. This is more like base overcrowding at this point. Um, Jim Bean has already preemptively... What? I don't... Oh, he's looking for the base. He's about to find the command center, though, awkwardly. So, he's gonna just... He's just gonna land it. He's just gonna land it. Wow! Who does that? Except... Wait, no, 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 wait! Oh, the counterplay! Wait, is this happening? That... Ah, uh, so this is, um, okay, Jim Bean, wait, it's, it's, I'm getting confused. I'm struggling because Jim is blue, now Steve is mining in red. Unfortunately for Jim, while he has another command center, his SCVs are scattered across the land, and he's gonna have to go on, like, a three-part trilogy, It'd be weird if it was any other different amount of parts, directed by Peter Jackson, just to find where all the minerals went. Where are you going? I, with these minerals, I make more SCV scumbag Steve laying down the first training mission in StarCraft 2. You're a, you're a riot, Steve. Oh, you, my power groves. <laughs> 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 
No, no, I liked it better as gross, Steve. But down in Florida, they have uh, workers who aren't paid. Well, they're paid about the income of a scumbag Steve worker to mine those grubs. So I, I, I see you. Um. <clears throat> fucking really. So Jim has recalled his workers back towards his base. So that's that's important here. So he is actually mining. Jim is, is maintaining that facade. Whereas Scumbag Steve is still is now taken Jim's base and I, is is built but he hasn't moved the command center back to where it's supposed to go. It appears we that what and also there's an SCV hit squad. Like this isn't even enough SCVs to fight the SCVs of Jim. I wonder at what point will Scumbag Steve, and I don't just say Steve, just Scumbag, you gotta do full proper name each time. Uh, oh no, the mineral wall, he could mine it! You could mine it to get through! It's too complicated for Scumbag Steve. He didn't go to four hours of Scumbag school on 8chan to be called Steve. Okay. He didn't, he didn't work in the power groves. For many, many minutes doing daily quests of SCV rushing to be called just Steve. No. God damn it, Steve. Where are your SCVs? This isn't chill. Very fair. Chill. Get out. Hiding. Hiding. But where are they hiding? Steve has not gone through the logical process. He's still, he's still doing some long distance action here. Um... Jim is Jim is leaning on so of course the engineering bay was the first building the first building outside of supply depots and command centers we had built was not a barracks but an engineering bay because of course it was usually in bronze league heroes that engineering bay comes before the two minute mark but despite all the activities and and conversation that we've had I think they've only been mining about two minutes so it's right on time uh, meanwhile, Jim Bean is adding on two more racks. He's got the gas mining because, um, oh, says Steve. Okay. Steve really, um, he, he just, that command center, it ran out of fuel. Uh, because scumbag Steve is a guy who never fills up the command center Vespian gas tank. We all know that. Hey, ma'am, can I borrow your CC? It's like, oh, please, just, just fill it up while you're there. No, no, of course not. Of course not. You're, you're suddenly, you're, you're like, it's not say it doesn't have the empty warning, but it's right there. It's right there. It's one of those people. And there's a check engine light, and you're pretty sure it doesn't need to be there. But you're not 100%. And he definitely smoked weed in your car. But, unrelated, Jim Bean is now slowly dragging. He's, he's, I don't, I, are they right clicked? I don't, um, it, it's unclear if they're right clicked or if they're, I don't, like, the SC, the, looking like, um, the Pied Piper here is Jim Bean as he, here they come! Three Marines! The game has escalated to units that that have have guns and and things are just gonna get out of hand. <sighs> You're a riot, Steve, taking on a whole new meaning. As the SCVs fighting with the Marines. But wait, there are more! More Marines. Now Jim is bringing in and, and where does it end? Where does it end is the question. Here come the Marines. The right click. The target fire. Gun down. Suddenly the SCVs. They, they, they turn to fight. But it's far too late. Jim now at 40 supply. Oh shit. Says Steve. Unable to comprehend. The, uh, the wrinkliest of brains that Jim Bean has pickled through himself over the years. I am proud, says Scumbag Steve, who managed to put together an orbital but has yet to move it 
anywhere closer to the minerals because he believes in social distancing. He's like, well, I have the minerals. We just got to make sure we got those supply depots. Meanwhile, the Marines, they know where the base is, if you remember, because he kind of just floated it past the command center. Jim now has more workers. He has more Marines. He's building a planetary fortress. He's got some turrets, because you never know. All roads lead to battle cruisers. It doesn't matter how long or how arduous or how convoluted or how lined by potential uh, uh, social, so nothing, nothing, nothing at all. We're something lawsuits. The depot will fall. That's three Marines versus more than three Marines. But the boys, the boys are called to fight, but the choke point of his own design. Oh, and he's lifted. Oh, it did have fuel. You were lying the whole time. You could have shared. He's on the run. He's got 28 minerals. He's got zero workers, but he does have... Wait, what? he's going... Oh, he's, he's like, maybe he left. Nope, he did not leave. Now he will discover for the very first time in his... Um... Is his valorous StarCraft career that you can mine from bases that aren't the main of either player. Or not. It looks like for a moment Scumbag Steve might have some empathy. Why are the Marines all dead? What? They, they, oh my god, they must have been right clicked out of, out of barracks. These Marines have seven kills. Oh, the bad boys here taking advantage of that henchman aim. And suddenly, wait a second. Uh, 35 to 0 workers. 50 to 0 supply. One SCV contracted out for repair on this now planetary. Is it two planetaries? And um, we got plus one armor. Jim Bean building quite the aesthetically pleasing base here. And, and Scumbag Steve now has his very first worker. Um, but he's also dropped mules, which has given him a surprising amount of income compared to his opponent. And by that, I mean any. So, the Marine, this is an interest. We got a one tank, six Marine push. Uh, which feels more like an old school Call of Duty mission than an actual attacking force. And now everyone knows... If nothing else, you got to have that reactor so you can not produce Marines twice as hard. The actions per minute in the dozen. We lost Steve. He's back. Don't worry. He got a text. He's using... He's still on MySpace. Meanwhile, Jim Bean scouring the map. Um, He's looking. He knows. He's scouted before. He knows there could be bases in other places. He's already traded spaces. And, uh... He, he's even... Even though they're the same races. And... Nobody's gonna be laying down a stasis. They better be tying up their bootstraps. Or maybe their laces. Because now the Vikings are putting Scumbag Steve through his paces, and the tank has the range. I, oh, okay, thank God. Um, <clears throat> the tank will siege and blast it out of the sky. The Orbital Command is once again in the air. The Vikings ready to pillage. The tank going for the SCVs, but the boys close the distance. They pay a dramatic toll. They're right-clicked onto the tank, which, oh, uh, what SCV, this is, this fight, R what am I watching? What SCV was not inspired, but the hero boys kill the tank. Meanwhile, the orbital command chased to the ends of the earth. Jim Bean, the barracks will burn. The orbital, my SCVs killed your tank, LOL, scumbag, Steve, that guy like, Hey, we lost the game, but I got one more kill than you. But the other team got 85 kills, but I killed your tank, bro. Get wrecked. Everybody has that friend. Friend. 
Meanwhile, Vikings on the deck. The only orbital. He doesn't have the minerals. Met oh, and that's it. He's a no GK. But could we have expected? Of course not. A relatively concise conclusion. What happened? Why it happened? How it happened? Where it happened? Who it happened? All questions. Not all of them good questions. But it did happen. Jim Bean comes out as the clear victor despite the scumbaggery of Steve. And despite Jim Bean somehow knowing more about his own biography than Steve himself, which is a classic scumbag Steve move. Anyways, he pulls it all together. And he puts a victory on the board. Once again, the heroes win. But hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you, Dracketh, for judging it worthy. I'd love if Scumbag Steve was the one who sent that in. Take your guesses. What did you think? Did you learn something? Did you unlearn something? Either way. Thank you for watching. Bronze League Heroes.